Hello, everyone. I'm Paul Hassel with the Net Fortress Sales Engineering Team, and welcome to the Net Fortress Product Spotlight. This past week, our hosted voice, UCAS, and call center communications platform, Community, went through an update. This video will run through top level highlights of the Community New Release 1.10. Let's begin by looking at our Community desktop application, MyHUD. We have added some new features and functionality based on direct customer feedback. Several things that have been updated, and I'll just be highlighting some of these interesting ones, such as the Do Not Disturb ad hoc switch. And this essentially lets you turn it on and off easily from here, and all notifications are silenced, as well as all calls that are going to your extension would go directly to voicemail until you switch it off. This gives you a quiet and productive workspace by being able to snooze communications at will. All you gotta do to disable it is switch it back off and you're back to your normal operations. Another thing that we've done to help communications between users is enable emoji responses. So they'll let your team know that you've seen their message with a simple little response, such as a thumbs up or a smiley face. Any of the available emojis, of course, can be used to react to a message. Now, as you're typing to people, hello, today is a cold day. Uh, as you can see here, it's detected that I've misspelled cold. Now I just select it, right click, and I have the options to correct it. I'll just select cold, and now I can send my chat messages error free. Now, another thing that we've done is uh, enable app messaging for group communications. For example, here you see Mary was uh, at mentioned, and you can do uh, several things as far as how you control the notifications by editing the types that you receive. For example, you can get notices for all messages. You can get messages that are tagged for Paul Hasseld or at group that is myself for the group, or no notifications at all, totally based on your preference. However, once you have it selected here, all you gotta do is type the at, and now you can at somebody such as John and or the entire group if you want to send them a notice that they have to check. Now, another thing that we've done is enable filtering in the directory by site. So those customers that have multiple sites, this helps organize your chats and manage them based on each one of your sites. And you could drop it down from the corner here, or you can actually type it in and select it, whatever you prefer. In addition to these MyHUD user experience enhancements, we have also began rolling out the click to dial capabilities, and this is first starting to roll out for Mac users. And this gives you essentially the ability to click to call from any application that supports the Tel hyperlink format or sending it to a Tel supporting app, such as MyHUD now. For example, websites that have the phone number in a hyperlink format there can be click to call simply by clicking on the phone number and you'll get a a little pop-up asking what program do you wish to use? In this case, of course, MyHUD. And once you select MyHUD, it will bring up the MyHUD application, allowing you to simply call the person using whatever your default calling device is selected, whether that's your soft phone, your physical phone, or a cell phone. Now, another great thing that it can do is allow you to uh, click to dial from applications such as Microsoft Outlook, you can see right here, if you have your contacts, all you gotta do is click on the little telephone icon to call them, and the same, it'll send it to my HUD and it'll dial out through your default calling device. Now for the community admins, we have made some updates as well. For example, now we have given admins the ability to disable chat and or file sharing as they need for their organization. And that's actually under the roles and permissions. Just edit one or create a new uh, permissions group. I'm going to click edit here and I'm gonna find chat. Now you see right here, we can block peer-to-peer -peer chat, group chat, or file sharing 
or essentially eliminate all if that's what you need. And this gives uh, users the ability to restrict communications to the platform as they see fit. This is especially important for financial institutions, medical and legal customers. Um, if you use another chat application, this also helps you uh, communicate utilizing the tools that you wish and if you have any compliance reasons for it. We have another few little updates here, such as the sidecar management. So for users that have their physical phone and a sidecar for additional buttons, you can set all those buttons all from the line management section now. Just click on line management and you'll see all of the currently configured buttons if applicable. And you can expand this and even add additional lines. So initially the first set of buttons that'll populate the amount of buttons that are on the phone will go first and then the next set will appear on your sidecar for as many buttons as are available. Now, another one of the things that we've done to help admins is allow you to record your voice prompts from your phone again. Initially, you could record it from your computer, directly from your web browser, but now you could go to the phone tab here, enter your extension, give it a file name, and click call now for the system to call your extension. All you gotta do is answer, say what you wanna record, hang up, and it allows you to save it now easily into the system for your call menus. Another thing we've done for the admin side is give you folks the ability to create web launcher profiles. So I'll go here. Now I have a couple of them already created, one's for Google, one's for HubSpot. You could create a new one here very simply give it a name and then define what kind of options you want it to send to the web browser. We've expanded some of the variables so you could control explicitly how you pass the phone number to the website, whether that includes a one before the area code or not. Some sites are picky about that, so we give you folks the ultimate control to pass the numbers in the format that you need. Now, another thing that we've done for call center customers, we have uh, some reporting tools to help you manage your employees, KPI, and other metrics. Now, if we go to the Q reports here, I'll run a Q details report for the past seven days. And this now shows you if you have SLAs being met or not met for any specific queues. Here you see that the first two calls were abandoned. I can see the wait time. Uh, the subsequent ones here have all been answered and meet my SLA of 30 seconds. So if a call is answered in 30 seconds or less, it met SLA. If it is exceeded 30 seconds, such as this last call here, they waited for three minutes and 39 seconds, that did not meet my SLA. So this gives you a quick and easy view to see how many calls are being answered within a timely manner to meet your SLAs. That was a high level overview over what we've changed recently and there's a lot more coming in the future. For a deeper dive, please see the link in the description below which has a PowerPoint presentation that includes all of the updates in our 1.10 community update. Remember, keep an eye out for our monthly newsletters. They help keep our customers and partners informed of the latest products as well as company updates. And please send any product questions to our sales engineers plural, at netfortress.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on LinkedIn to be the first to see our latest product updates. Thank you and have a great day.